Before we get started, quick announcement. If you're an independent artist yourself and you want me to react to your song, just hit my email in the description and we can make that happen. What's good, Crown Family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, oh, the video bring a little light to your day. Also, I just released my newest single called Single Father, if you will. After the video, check it out. The link will be in the pinned comment. I surely appreciate that. Today, ladies and gentlemen, GQ, GQ just released... Um, their uh, video of ASAP Rocky answering 18 questions from Rihanna. Now, listen, when Rihanna put out new content, we here for it. That's all I'm saying, bro. Let's get to it. I ain't going to hold you up. Handsome. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> hey, GQ, it's Rihanna. Bro. <laughs> bro, come on, man. Rihanna's so fine. Like, look at her, man. Just, just look at her. Look at her. And I'm going face to face with ASAP Rocky. All right, ring, 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 ring. What's up, Riri? <laughs> What's up, Rocky? How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm chilling. So I need going? to ask you the same. Boy, ASAP Rocky got Riri out here blushing. You're a lucky man, dog. You're a lucky man. Next up, what is your favorite whisper? I just wanted to say the same thing. It means so much in four letters. Yeah. But it's also like, it can mean like really it can, intense. It mean, no, but it can mean like, like, you know, I just like drop. I already know what he's talking about. Class of juice or like. Yeah, it can mean like, that. It could also mean that. True, but I like better. Like, like. Uh, like. yes. A food that you would never eat under any circumstance. Chitlin. I just went to say it, Facts. an intestine of any animal. Like, Same. that's just like, come on. Why would no anybody on. like that? Like, I went to say celery, and then I was like, nah, I can get through that. that. My life depended on it. Animals. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm with you. Unless it's good for your skin. <laughs> <laughs> What's the hardest part about working with me? I think the hardest part about working with you is not goofing off and laughing the whole time. Like, this is comedy. That's the hardest part, you know? We such people, we so cool, it's just hard not to not to laugh, that's all. But it was fun. Bro, the hardest like part is not having person. too much fun. You just forget that it's, it's still, you know, work, work at the end of the day. Yeah, that's a good answer. What is your self-care routine and how do you take care of yourself? Uh, my self-care routine would be showering. Taking care of my skin, exfoliating, moisturizing, just cleansing myself, grooming, trimming, anytime I could. You know, it's a pandemic right now, so I've been chilling on all that, but for the most part, yeah. So, <laughs> when you discovered skincare, you were how old? Probably like 14, 15. What's the first product you bought? Like, was it a moisturizer or like a, a face wash? Yeah, my first time really getting introduced to like the skincare platform. I think I was like younger and it was through like a, a rinse, Oxine. My mother had it in the drawers. And, like, so like a just, cleanser? Yeah, it was like a cleanser. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> That's it was awesome. tight. What's your last oh. purchase on the $20? Condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I was on the yeah, man. I bought a t-shirt for like eleven dollars. Ooh. It was tight. I came up on eleven dollar t-shirt. Where does ASAP Rocky wish... buy a t-shirt for, for eleven dollars? I'll yes. take a free t-shirt. My favorite price is free ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Ain't gonna hold. What is your skin type? Handsome. <laughs> so is that like an oily handsome, <laughs> handsome, a combination handsome? Or just like a sensitive, handsome. It's a handsome, handsome, man. You know, handsome, handsome. All right, so is your skin ashy, dry, oily, or sensitive? I would say I have very sensitive skin, for sure. So do you usually get like uh, really cautious about using certain products and stuff like that when it comes to your skin since it's so sensitive? Yeah, for sure. You know, stuff that's just like too much alcohol based in it or way, way too much chemical. I need to get me a skincare routine, man, so my skin can be just flawless. You know, you know that can break you out even worse, you know what I'm saying? So for me, it was just like 
I had to discover face cleansing and skin care all at the same time when I was a young buck in the shower. Okay, so who's like the first person that you looked up to in terms of skincare in regards to like a man? Skincare is like weird to say that about, but like who have you looked at and try to just emulate your skincare regimens personally? No man. No men, really, right? Nah, unfortunately, I ain't. I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, let me ask you something. Like, you know how we find out as we get older, like, girls love men with, like, manicures and pedicures and stuff like that. Like, <laughs> for real, for real. Is skincare a big thing with, when it comes to women? I mean, women always love men with good skin. I mean, come on. But as much as you guys think about your your nails and your skin, we think about that too. We, we look at that. We enjoy men that take care of their skin their nails because it says a, a lot about like how they'll take care of themselves and the people around that's true that's true them. so of course it's a big deal for us dang that's what's up i guess it does reflect a lot about your personality or especially in my household my mother my brothers could not have their nails at a certain <laughs> length they had to be clean they had to be short they had to be filed my mother was that kind of woman, so like I, I think I've kind of adopted that point of view from her. <laughs> That's what's up. What was your first red carpet? Anything. It was MTV. That's a big deal. Straight off the yeah. bat with that? Yeah, my first red carpet was MTV. I know what I had on. I could tell you what I had on. No, I don't need to hear it. I just need to see it. You could describe yeah. it as, as I'm seeing it. No, 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 it was BET. <laughs> it was BET, I think. It was the BET Awards, it wasn't. I, I see I confused it for that year when we, nah, it was so, it was a month before, it was BET, the first red carpet. Bro, Rihanna is just effortlessly beautiful, bro. Like, she could just wake up in the morning and just look like this, bro. Oh <laughs> my God. Is this your first I had the black, black on black, yeah. So I had oh, right they found a Hermes pick. belt on. I had the Raph semi. No, no you don't have to plan out Hermes and Raph. This is you. <laughs> and then I had the uh, the black skill oh, hat on with. Uh, nah, stop trying the to make it sound dope. With... This is you. <laughs> no, it. You know what I'm saying? Look at that handsome fella. Yeah, that's oh, me. Check God. me out. You could have used some Fenty skin back then. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> What's your favorite outfit of me? I ain't gonna lie. My favorite outfit of you, the red carpet. Anything she wear? Anything she wear? Carpet at the British Fashion Awards earlier this year. Really? I ain't gonna lie. I like that look. Like, like ever? <laughs> like of all of my red carpets or like videos, that that? That's my. That's one of my favorite looks. Damn. Yeah. What? You ain't like that one? No, I love that look. I'm just like, I'm shocked that that's what you would say. It's not like Raph or like Rake. Nah, it was fire. High tops or low tops? It's going to have to be high tops. High tops, low for, tops me. for me. What's your favorite shit of watching the TV? I watch everything, man. That's a complex question for a complicated guy, man. I watch everything. You know, cartoons. I like I like to watch cartoons as weird as it is. Mm. The older the better. Vintage cartoons. That's my vibe. I could binge watching those forever. <laughs> What's your favorite vintage cartoons to watch? Like Popeye the Sailor Man, Scooby Doo, obviously the Jetsons. Jetsons was my thing, bro. Banana splits. Wait till your father gets home. Betty Boop. You know? Stuff like that, but we can't give the sauce away too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I love Betty Boop. <laughs> Betty Boop, so far. She's so far. How do you stay mentally and inspirationally aligned? I think for me, I'm just more of a people person, you know? To stay mentally and inspirationally in line, I think it, it kind of takes, it starts with the mental. I think you gotta be in a good mental space to even allow yourself to be inspired, you know? Cause it's all about like what you said, you know? You really do, man. Like, you can't, you don't even feel creative when you're not in a good space, bro. It's like hard to create, bro. I know it is for me. You gotta allow things into your universe, your world, your space, you know? Yeah. Wow, that's, that's kind of deep. Nah, me and you saying the same, but you know. No, that's you know. actually better answer than mine. Can I just like, can I ever do my 
<laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, man. So like, I just try to keep the mental capacity to stay inspired and not too influenced. You know? Yeah. So what's your favorite product so far from the Fenty Skincare line? I'm gonna have to go with the moisturizer. This invisible moisturizer, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. This, I love it. I ain't even gonna lie. The mechanism is crazy. It's different. And it smells good, you know? Thank you. Put, this, <laughs> put it all over your hands. You can't be having no dry hands soaking to nobody, you know what I mean? I'll be yeah. ashy in between your knuckles and all that. Need me some Fenty skincare products? Rihanna, hit me up! That ain't the vibe, bro. When it comes to skincare, what are you packing your travel bag? When it comes to skincare, I pack mostly moisturizers, a little bit of face soap, uh, yeah, that's really it. I don't really use much toners and stuff. I just realized he got pearls on his necks. Now that's different. When I'm traveling, really face wipes too. They don't really take much from me. What do you wish more people were talking about in the beauty industry? What do I wish more people would talk about in the beauty industry? I would have to say I, w I wish that it was more versatility, diversity, obviously. You know, I think it's kind of trying to evolve, especially with a person like yourself and what you're doing in amongst the beauty industry. But I do wish that there was way more, you know, versatility throughout it all. You know, I, I feel like everything is very old fashioned and kind of stuck to an old blueprint. And as time evolves, so does, you know, the blueprint. Facts. Everything must evolve, man. Like. I, I love, you know, when people push, you know, the, the, the limits of, of what's the now and try to create something. Honestly, thank you so much for even being a part of this conversation where we could discuss openly skincare for for men, for women, for non-binary. Rihanna, hit me up. Trying to be a part of the team, you know, man. I can, you know, do a little modeling or something. No. Nah. I just think everyone with skin deserves to have great skin, and I appreciate you yeah. being a part of this conversation. So, yo, you more than welcome. The pleasure is all mine. I want to say thank you for you know supporting me at a time when I just came home from jail. Thank you for identifying my beauty as a man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I appreciate you, like like for real, for real though. You know, and thanks for the opportunity. Well, shout out to GQ. Thank you so much for being involved in this conversation between Rocky and I face to face. This was tight. Thank you so much. Mwah. <laughs> nah, let me stop. Hey, man, I appreciate y'all watching with me also, man. I'm going to go ahead and leave off on that note. But now it should be a video on my face. That's my newest song called Single Father. If you got some time, check that out for me. It's a deep storytelling song. I just got to click the video on my face to take you to the song. Now, if you enjoy that song, make sure you smash the subscribe. To my music channel, part two is coming soon. This is that was just part one. Part two coming soon. We all salute, Crown Family. Have a beautiful, blessed day.